My name is Marcelo Montoya. Um, I play for the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs and I'm 21 years old and I've yeah, been playing footy since I was five years old. Uh, we moved to Australia from Fiji when I was three years old so it's been a good learning experience for me this year and yeah, really looking forward to the future. It's been a very honourable season for myself. Um, I think getting the opportunity pretty early gave me, gave me a good chance to get close with the boys and um, I guess to learn the way of first grade and, and um, and, and how to get in there and, and be consistent to stay there. To be there now, it's um, something I'll be forever grateful for and something that um, like I hold really close to my heart. I reckon that's probably one thing that, that's hard to be a first grader. You've got to work hard at your game and, and really prepare well to, to play good. And to do that, you've got to, you've got to do everything right. You know? You've got to do the 1% is right. You've got to eat well, you've got to prepare well. And I think I learned a lot this year from, from, from a lot of the older boys and they taught me how to um, how to be more professional and I guess how to um, to maintain that, you know, to, to play good one week is, is awesome, but then to come next week and to play that game again, it's, it's very hard and I guess if you can get something close to that game you did, you played well, I think it's something they could always do and um, yeah, I guess just learning from the older boys and, you know, to be consistent is very hard and I think that's something that everyone works on, every footy player works on. For me, I, look, I put a lot of pressure on myself as it is and, you know, I, I guess it was out there in the media and stuff about myself, but I kind of don't look into those kind of things. I, I kind of focus on myself and focus on what I need to do to be a better person and a better player. And I think for me, it was just knuckling down and, and training hard because it was only my first, my first full-time preseason. And I think to um to be able to you know mix it with some of those boys and you know like you look at the team like the Bulldogs team and you know we got boys there that have played for their country and and played for Origin. So I think for me, it was just learning off those boys and and being a good person. I think you know it's easy for a coach to to have someone that that that's willing to learn and I think for myself it was just that was probably the best part about me just putting my best foot forward and and willing to learn. One person that kind of caught my eye and that really that was really there for me from day one is is probably Josh Reynolds you know he um he was there for me and he always told me that you know no matter what happens just just train hard and I think for him like he has a crazy story as well I mean after he finished his 20s career mate, he had a massive ankle surgery he um I think he broke his ankle and tore some ligaments in there so he had a massive rico on his ankle and I think for for him to go through that, I think he had a few um, shoulder recos as well, and he played Origin as well. So he's he's been he's been through the highs and lows, Josh, and I think he's been there for me like every step of the way on and off the field. And he's someone that um, you know, like I really look up to, and um, he he's um, he's helped me a lot. He's not only a good footy player; he's a he's a very good person. He has a kind heart, and you know I can keep rapping him for days. But I'll tell you something about him: he's very loyal, and um, he loves the Bulldogs, and you know like. They're going to miss a lot, but in saying that, Tigers are going to gain a lot. So, um, you know, I'm very happy for him and, um, you know, I just want to thank him because he's, he's helped me be the person I am today. If you were to look back to this time last year and say that I would have played 19 games and scored 12 or so tries, I'd look back and say, mate, you're kidding yourself. And to get that opportunity around three is um, something I, um, you know, something I really cherish because I was sitting at home that night when we versed the Roosters Thursday night and it's not, it's not good seeing the boys go down, eh, but... It was something for me that I was like, oh, maybe I might get an opportunity here. And I remember um, Kerrod Holland went down first. And then I thought, like, like I didn't think too much of it. I was watching the game and then, um, and, I, and then I seen Hop go down. And then I didn't realise until I was driving home after the game. And then one of my close family friends called me. And he was like, oh, you might get a crack next week, you know. So just keep your eye out. Like, 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 like you never know what's going to happen. And then literally I hung up the phone and I was about to get home and then I get a phone call from our general, from our manager, from our general manager, um, Alan Thompson, and he's like, "Oh, don't, don't, uh, don't hop on that plane tomorrow because we're supposed to fly to um, uh, New Zealand the next day for New South Wales Cup and and play out there for round two. And he said, "Don't, don't hop on that plane, mate. Just come to training on Sunday." And he goes, "I think you might be in for next week." So, um, yeah, it's it's definitely something that I keep close to my heart, mate. And I'm very, very grateful, you know, to to be able to say that I've played 19 games and to get an opportunity that early is um, it's pretty crazy, but um, it's something that um, you know. I'll, I'll always look back and, and just smile back on it and um, you know it was good to get the win too that day. I called my mum and she was um, she was pretty stoked. It was hard to say that I was going to play there because I only got the phone call to come to training so I didn't really find out until the Tuesday. So I kind of had a you know just um, boxing all my um, all my emotion and wait until Tuesday training and then we came to training on the Tuesday. It, it still wasn't for sure yet because I think Des was still waiting on um, the results for Kurt Holland because they thought he could have returned that, that week so um, yeah I had to hold up for a bit but um, yeah, training Tuesday, 
he pretty much announced it and that's when I called my mum straight away after after training I called mum after the session and she was pretty emotional she was in tears crying so um yeah it's good it's good because you know mum's been through a lot and to see her um get emotional for myself is something that I always hold close to my heart to be with such a um you know prestigious group like you see like the boys you know most of the boys have, have played representative football and in saying that most of them have played you know at least 100 games or 150 games of first grade so I think for myself it was easy to stay positive because I was going to training every day and I was seeing all these kind of, I was seeing the likes of, you know, Aiden Tolman, you know, Josh Jackson, Brett Morris, Josh Morris, you know, Will Hopper Whitey. I was seeing all these boys and I was seeing them, you know, like they were all upbeat and, and like James Graham always says, it's a game that's, it's a made up game with made up rules, but one thing that's not made up is the mateship and, and, that, and that's one thing I really learnt this year is, is um, you know, the mates that I've, I've, um, I've met and the the friendships I've created is probably something I'll carry for the rest of my life and especially with some of the like the, like the boys you know it's um for me it's very honorable to be there and, and to be training so I think for me to be there that's what kept me positive you know to be to be able to live my dream every day is is the reason why I was positive and to see the boys upbeat always even though after a tough loss I know it was hard but they've been through all the ups and downs of the NRL and and like their experience kind of got me through and I reckon just being around them you know got me through that tough stage. Yeah, I think Des got a bit of scrutiny this year. Um, in saying that, mate, he's a world-class coach, and you know he will always have a soft spot for me. Like, I mean, like I have a so always have a soft spot for him because he gave me that opportunity to live my dream. To be honest, to to play first grade, and you know, I think Des is, is probably one of the best coaches, mate. He he's um you know he's he's in, he's particular in what he does, and he he likes to work very hard at at certain things. And you know, and if he and if he knows that you need help in your game, he. Know, he tells you what you need to do. He gives you everything you need. He gives you all the tools that you need to, to be that better player. So I guess for, for a lot of the boys, it was hard because, you know, like a lot of the blame was getting thrown on him and he didn't really deserve it because we were the ones playing every week. And, you know, it was, it was hard to see him, you know, go through that. Like one thing about Des, he's just so, he's so persistent and he got through that stage and he, he just told us, like, just stick together. And I think that's one thing I learned off him, you know, just no matter what happens, just, um, you know, just always be positive and, and look forward to next week and I think that's something that um, I'll take from him. There's a lot of boys that have been there like like I said Josh Reynolds he's he had a massive impact on me personally as a footy player and a person but I think as the year kind of progressed I got really close with the Morris boys and you know Josh and Brett have had a massive probably impact in the player that I am you know they they kind of helped me you know being being outside backs they've, they've played in the centres and wing and and, and, and they understand that kind of position. So I think for, um, for myself, it's kind of been the, the Morris boys because um, you know, they've always kind of supported me whenever I needed them. And you know, even when we're out in the footy field and we're training and we're pretty busted from fitness, you know, I'll, I'll pull up the most stupidest questions and just ask them, you know, what do I do here when like, they can't even breathe? And they, and they still give me time. You know, they still say, you know, what, do this, do that to, to fix yourself, to be a better player. And I think um, you know, to get that kind of respect from those boys, um, it means everything to me. And, um, yeah, it's um, it's something that I always cherish because you know, like they've both played for their country, like I said, and both played Origin, and you know, to have their to have their kind of um, guidance is um, something that I always um, keep close to myself because um, you know, if it wasn't probably for them, you know, I probably wouldn't have been able to get the opportunity to play first grade. Yeah, Will is a very good bloke. He's probably one of the best footy players I've played with, and he's like he's an even better person. And I well, wasn't really much going on, you know, coming up with the World Cup. He just said if you want to train a few days, you know, during the week come in because I'll be in obviously you know he likes to stay fit knowing that the World Cup's coming up he'll, he'll probably be with the toe inside so like he said to me you know Marcy if you want to come train with me three days a week come down we'll have like we we'll have a session at Belmore with um with our good SNC coach Tony Grimaldi so you know it's it's a lot for you know a lot to put out of his way like he comes in on Monday Wednesday Friday you know about seven in the morning and trains us so it's it's big ups to Lob because he's he's an awesome bloke and yeah like I said we'll Will gave me that, um, he, like he just asked me, he said, oh, do you want to train a few? I said, yeah, perfect, it'll be good for myself, you know, to, to still stay a bit fit, but still kind of enjoy the off season as well. But yeah, he's a good bloke. And um, like you said, like an even better footy player, he's, he's, been, he's been crazy at the back for us. And he, he's, been, um, he's been a massive impact on myself as well, because um, he's helped me a lot, you know, in, in the preseason, you know, just with the small fundamental things in footy. And yeah, it's big ups to Will, because he's a good person. You know, with Will playing at fullback and me on the wing, I think it's, it's a massive um, trust build, like for, for me and Will to, to kind of be together and, and create a bond, you know, because then come on the footy field, it's just, um, you know, it's just that kind of instinct, you know, when you see him out there and you see that pass coming, you just got to know that it's coming. Like, he's, um, he's probably set me up for most of my tries this year and 
I'm very grateful for that because, you know, um, he loves a cutout pass and it's helped me get across the line. So, yeah, he, you're right, it does build, um, it does build a lot of um, awareness, it's play awareness and, and um, kind of that respect there on the footy field with, when you're playing with him. It was a very special moment, but um, like there wasn't real much pressure on myself. I kind of put the pressure on myself to, you know, to excel and to be where I am today. So my family have um, have always been there for myself, and my mum has been my my number one supporter with my brothers and and my and, and my father. So um, yeah, my mum is very special to me, and you know, to to see her um, very emotional. I remember when I got the phone call that I was I was flying over. Mick Potter still said still didn't say that I wasn't playing yet until we actually reached Samoa last year. So to get that phone call and to tell her she was very. I reckon she was probably the same. She was probably in the same um, state as she was when I told her I was playing first grade. So she was pretty emotional about the whole situation. But um, I think I was probably pretty emotional as well. Like, you know, it's 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 kind of um, like no one really sees that kind of coming. You know, like to not play first grade yet, and then to debut for your country, for your nation, is um, is pretty special. And for me, I, I got to do that first. And um, yeah, we got the win over there. It's um, it's something that um, like I always you know look back and say you know thank you. Thank, thank my family and, and thank God for blessing me with that opportunity. But, you know, to make my mum proud and to be there now. So we're the, we're the two in the family that have played for our country. So it's pretty special. The boys are really professional in what they do. And I think the senior boys in the Fiji team really take control. All Mick has to worry about is the coaching because, you know, come to training, the boys are switched on. You know, the boys are willing to learn and the boys are willing to put their best foot forward because, you know, we, you know, we all respect each other. We all have that kind of, um, you know, that, that kind of show of gratitude because like we're all in the same position, like representing our country. So the boys, you know, they're really professional and they just, like we just love what we do. We love each other's company and, you know, the boys love a laugh as well. And sometimes we could, we laugh too much, but um, yeah, no, the boys are, the Fiji boys are like a, you know, it's like a, it's like my second, my third family away from my family, the Bulldogs and the Fiji team. It's like my third family and, you know, we're a pretty tight group and yeah, it's, it's very, um, it's very good. To be honest, it was very um, nerve wracking because a lot of the boys that, that um that played last year in the test played first grade, you know. Whether it was one game or two games, I think there was about three of us that hadn't played first grade yet. And um, for me, it was like, whoa, like I'm going into this team, and I want and, and like I'm going to represent my country. But I'm playing with boys that have played. Like we had, I think we had Ashton Sims. You know, he, he's played he played Newcastle. Like he's he's played at least 100 first grade games. And there's a few boys in there that have played, you know, other representative roles. We had boys that have won grand finals. Up in Corusi, he won the grand final. So very like a a bit of experience, but a lot of youth as well. So um, to be mixed in that kind of group, they just took me in, and they really, um, you know, like they really made me feel welcome. So I'm very grateful for that. And um, you know, I, I still remember my like landing at the airport at um, Samoa. I was really nervous. I still, I still hadn't spoke that much. And then Kane Evans kind of took me under his wing and and just goes, "Oh, relax. Like the boys are here. Like we're all." He goes, "Just act like you would with like with your boys, because you know the boys, the boys love you, and you know they'll do anything for you." So it was, it was very special. Hopefully, come a few weeks time, I can tick that off. So it's um it's very important. Certainly, a goal that I've put I've put for myself and playing playing for your nation is very special. But then to represent your nation, you know, at, at a World Cup is um is even it's like taking that next step from um playing rep footy to to playing in a World Cup. So I think for myself, like you said, four years it comes. So four years ago today, I wouldn't I wouldn't be saying that I'd be playing in the next World Cup. I was playing SG Ball, and I wouldn't be I wouldn't be thinking no way I'd be playing in the World Cup but four years now like I'm here now I'm I probably have put my best foot forward but doesn't mean that I'm going to be there yet I still got to work hard and I think you know fingers crossed if I get that opportunity uh, it'll be probably one of the best experiences to have my family there just my media family my my mum my my auntie my dad and my two older brothers you know and my nephew and my sister-in-law and, and my missus to have them there would probably just set my would, It'll probably be the mark of my year, you know, just to have them there and to see them support will probably be just the best thing for, for myself and I guess um, put it back in perspective that it's not only about, you know, just playing footy, it's about the relationships you create, you know, with your family, you know, around this kind of um, environment. So I think to have them there will, will be very special because family to me means, means absolutely everything, mate. Like if I had a choice, you know, for, for my family, like if my family, say for example, we're going for a tough situation, you know. I'd always pick my family first over my career because, you know, it's it's all you have pretty much. Like, you know, they've like they mean a lot to me because they've been there every step of the way and especially my my 
like my older brothers and um, and my mum. So they've been there every step of the way and they've always supported me no matter what. So family to me comes first and it means everything to myself. So I wanted to play soccer actually. So <laughs> five years old, my I had, about, I had three older brothers and they were massive and and they already enrolled in like they already signed up to play um, footy. So. And then, and then for myself, I wanted to play um, soccer. And then my brother was like, "Nah, like you're not going to play soccer. Like it's a, it's a wussy sport. Like you're not going to do that." Like, and I said, "All right, then. Like, what's going to happen?" Then he goes, "Oh, you're going to play footy." And back then, like all I really had, like when I was young, I, I kind of just had speed. I, re like, I wasn't really strong, but I was just fast. But I went through a phase where I went fast, and then I went a bit chubby, and then I came back to my speed again. So, but yeah, um, when I was young, I, I played a bit of soccer. I wanted to play soccer, I went to sign up and then my brother said no way, so they threw me straight in. I played a year up with the under sixes, so two years of under sixes and then, yeah, I never looked back to be honest. It's, um, it's probably the best decision I've made. <laughs> when I was young, my brothers, um, you know, my brothers kind of helped me be, you know, like I said, when I was young, I didn't really have that kind of strong side. I was pretty fast, but I was never really strong. I, I didn't really have any ticker or grit, but then my, um, you know, my older brothers kind of taught me, you know, my, my oldest brother, Rusi, was a really good footy player. He, um, he played... Re like he actually played Jersey Flag at the Tigers and then he, he popped his shoulder, I think it was back in 2000. So he was a really good player, but I, I guess injury set him back. So he kind of helped me, you know, put my best foot forward and helped me kind of, you know, obviously he couldn't help me be the player I am because he played, he played kind of in the hookers and, and halves. So, but he kind of gave me that mind frame and that mindset to what I needed to do to get there. So yeah, big ups to him and, and, and my family because, um, you know, I guess, Growing up, I never, like, I always wanted to play rugby league, and you know, it's it's every kid's dream that plays rugby league to play NRL, and it's hard because it's sometimes like it never comes true, and I think I'm very grateful, you know, and, and honoured to City and say that I've played, I've played NRL because it's it's not easy. I set a few goals last year, and to be honest, there was goals that I thought were out of my reach, and 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 I guess I set goals, you know, to kind of base me for the next two years. All the goals I set, you know, for. For the next two years, I achieved them all in this year. I guess life, um, you know, it, it's it's crazy how it works, and and footy's and and footy's crazy how it works. I reckon, and I think for me to achieve that, and 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 to be able to say that I've I've achieved those goals that I've that I've set for myself for two years in one year, it's it's certainly something that um, I'm very happy for myself and and very blessed, you know, to be able to to say that I've you know that I've played first grade because that was definitely one of my goals. Um, you know, and, and then obviously coming into the future years, I guess, like you said, I'm just going to have to take it as it comes and, you know, just, just keep working hard and put my best foot forward in pre-season, come pre-season time, just work hard and, and don't look back. The Bulldogs club is, um, is very, it's very prestigious, you know, and it's got a lot of history. It, it, it's a family club. It, it does strive for success and I know we haven't, we haven't did that, you know, this year, but 100% there's going to be success there in the coming years for sure. And, I think for me to be able to, uh, to say that I've played first grade for the Bulldogs, considering that I also supported them when I was a young kid as well, you know, growing up and supporting the Bulldogs and, and being a diehard fan, and then, you know, to come up and then, and then to put the jersey on, to wear that emblem on my chest every day for my job is, um, it's very special, mate, and it's, it's hard, like, it's, it's hard to say that, it's like, some people have done that, to say that they've supported a club for their whole life, and then to be able to play first grade and, and represent that club, and and and, um, and represent their family and to represent God. It's probably the most important thing to myself. But yeah, it's it's very um, it's something that you can't really um, touch on because Bulldogs, you know, it's it's such a it's such a historic club and to play first grade there is um, is very special for me, mate. And it means a lot to myself. So growing up, I, like we grew up in the southwest in, in Campbelltown, and I played. I had a few junior clubs down there. I played for MacArthur Saints, and then I moved over to uh, the Ingleburn Bulldogs, and played a few years there, and then played for East Campbelltown, and then I came back to the MacArthur Saints, and then under 13s was my last year there. We moved up to um, to Fairfield, and then I met a few close friends that I went to high school with there at at Fairfield uh, Patrician Brothers, and then they took me to their junior club, which was the Bankstown Bulls, which was a uh, obviously a Canterbury um, Bulldogs um, junior feeder club. So that was my junior club for the Bulldogs the Bankstown Bulls and um, yeah I was I was pretty fortunate enough to progress through the grades and to play to play um, you know development and then Harold Matz and then SG Ball and then and 20 so it's been a wonderful experience you know to to come through the grades at, at the Bulldogs but at the same time it's been um, very rewarding as well for myself.